Spokane Valley Fire Department considered John Sprague an ideal employee, but they fired him because his use of the department's bulletin board and email violated political correctness. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. The first thing you need to know about the case is that the Spokane Valley Fire Department had a bulletin board system connecting 180 employees. So what uses were considered legitimate and illegitimate? The Pacific Justice Institute is so concerned with the answer to this question that PJI Media produced a video called Christian Firefighter Discrimination Confirmed by Courts. The Institute has kindly given us permission to include excerpts featuring its president, Brad Dacus. Other employees would post babysitting notices or birthday parties on the bulletin board. Well, when he posted a notice about the Bible study he was hosting, he was reprimanded and punished. Although Captain Sprague was represented by Spokane attorney Matt Albrecht, Pacific Justice Institute filed a friend of the court brief. Now, the second thing you need to know about the case involves the department's email system. It was only supposed to be used for business, but what did that really mean? According to Brad Dacus, Uh, When people would express their viewpoints on different social issues, and he expressed his from a Christian worldview, Christian perspective, he was reprimanded, and eventually he was fired. Sounds like viewpoint discrimination, if you ask me. And appeals court judge George Fearing apparently agrees, saying Sprague's emails were no different from the health and wellness messages others sent out. Of course, the captain approached topics like substance abuse and conflicts with children from a biblical perspective. I need to tell you that the court battles are not over for Sprague. He has one more coming up. According to a state Supreme Court document, and forgive me for the legalese, Sprague has met his initial burden to show that the SVFD's restrictions on his speech violated the First Amendment. Of course, SVFD is the Spokane Valley Fire Department. Getting back to the document, on remand, the burden will shift to SVFD to show by preponderance of evidence that it would have reached the same decision as to employment termination even in the absence of the protected conduct. That means the department would have to show it fired Sprague for a different reason. I don't think that's likely. Let's make one thing clear. John Sprague does not want his job back. He's moved away. But of course, there's the issue of lost wages. A successful outcome at the next trial, a lawsuit, would mean monetary damages. Thanks again to Pacific Justice Institute for its assistance with the story. You can find more PJI case videos on the Pacific Justice Institute YouTube page. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.